Ubisoft has faced serious challenges lately, leading to a dramatic drop in its stock price, recent delays, underwhelming game launches, and internal issues have shaken the investor confidence, bringing Ubisoft's stock to its lowest point in over a decade. However, the company saw a sudden rebound following rumors of the potential buyout by Tencent and exciting news about the early release for the fan favorite game. Here is a closer look at how Ubisoft reaches this point, what's been happening as of recent, and where things could be even headed. It's been a rough year for Ubisoft. The company hit a new low as the stock price dropped to 9 euros, the lowest has been since like 2014. The steep decline following Ubisoft announcements that Assassin's Creed Shadows, one of its most anticipated games, would be delayed until February 2025. This delay rattled investor confidence, but it wasn't the only issue. Before this announcement, Ubisoft stock had already been on a downward slide, and the latest drop represented a nearly 20% loss from the previous day's closing price. In the US, Ubisoft stock was trading at around $2. To make things matters worse, the company's market capitalization fell from 2 billion euros to 1.27 billion euros in just three weeks. Adding to the disappointment, Ubisoft also slashed its financial targets for the second quarter of financial year of 2025. Investors learned that Star Wars Outlaws, one of the Ubisoft's highest profile releases, had underperformed financially. Despite the company's promise to improve the game through updates, the news did little to reassure shareholders. With key games delayed, financial forecasts reduced, and an internal investigation underway, it seems Ubisoft was on a steady downward path. Both investors and fans were left wondering whether the company could find a way to recover, or if it was the beginning of the end for Ubisoft as a major player in the gaming industry. Just as things were looking dire, rumors of the potential buyout by Tencent surfaced, offering a sliver of hope. Reports from the Bloomberg revealed that Ubisoft founding family, the Gilmots, had entered talks with Tencent, the Chinese tech giant, about the possibility of a buyout. This news quickly sent ripples through the market, providing a potential lifeline for Ubisoft. Tencent already owns 10% stake in Ubisoft, and a buyout or deeper partnership to take the company private was reportedly one of the options on the table. Although these talks are still in early stages and nothing is set in stone, the prospect of Tencent stepping in has generated perhaps an excitement, well at least for now. Following the buyout rumors, Ubisoft's stock price surged. Shares jumped from 10 euros to 14 in just about an hour, about 29% increase for the day. In US, the stock saw a similar rise from $2 to $3, Though the price has been stabilized, the gains provided temporarily relief for the investors who had been watching Ubisoft's value steadily decline through the year. However, while the Tencent buyout may seem like a quick fix for Ubisoft troubles, it could also come with a significant downside. Tencent had a reputation for heavily monetizing its games, often to a far greater degree than even Ubisoft. If Tencent were to take a full control of Ubisoft, it's likely that we would see an increase in in-game purchases, microtransactions, and other aggressive monetization tactics. For players already frustrated with Ubisoft's approach to monetization, this could mean things even for the worse. The truth is, while Tencent involvement could stabilize Ubisoft financially, it may come at the cost of the quality and player experience of their games. In addition to the buyout rumors, Ubisoft fans received another piece of an unexpected news. A remake of an Assassin's Creed Black Flag is reportedly coming much sooner than anticipated. Initially, rumors suggested that the remake would still be years away, but new details now indicating it may arrive as early as 2025. The Black Flag remake, codenamed Obsidian, is a part of the Ubisoft's larger strategy to revitalize the Assassin's Creed franchise. Mind I say is, I believe that this rumor is strategically placed here as well since Tom Henderson quite suspiciously received this information at this time. Despite the recent delay of an Assassin's Creed Shadows, Ubisoft is still aiming to release a steady flow of content for the franchise, and the Black Flag remake is a key piece of that plan. For many fans, Black Flag is considered one of the best games in the series. 
with its pirate-themed gameplay, open-world naval exploration, news that high-quality remake is in works has generated significant excitement. If Ubisoft can deliver on the promise of this beloved title, it could go a long way towards restoring players' trust and helping the company regain its footing. While the stock rise following the Tencent rumors and Black Flag news is encouraging, it's far too early to say whether Ubisoft can sustain this momentum. The company still faces significant challenges. Star Wars Outlaws failed to meet sales expectations, and its free-to-play games like X Defiant are struggling to retain players. On top of all that, the recent delays have shaken the confidence in Ubisoft's ability to deliver major titles on time and at the quality players expect. If Tencent buyout falls through and nothing changes eternally, Ubisoft may continue to struggle and potentially even fail to recover from this downward trend. The company could be left in a precarious position, with declining players' interest, investor frustration, and fewer options to regain marketing share. In this scenario, Ubisoft might continue to lose its place as a leader in the gaming industry. However, if the Tencent deal does go through, there's another risk. Tencent tracks record with the monetization. While buyout might stabilize Ubisoft in the short term, it could lead to even more aggressive focus on the microtransactions and the pay-to-win elements, which many players already dislike. Tencent approach could alienate the core fan base that has stuck with Ubisoft through its ups and downs, potentially leading to long-term damage to the company's reputation and players' relationship. Ubisoft is uh, in a critical turning point. The company's stock recovery after its recent plunger is promising, but the road ahead remains uncertain. The potential Tencent buyout offers both hope and a risk. While early releases of popular titles like the Black Flag Remake could provide much needed momentum, but if things don't improve, if the buyout doesn't happen, or if the deal leads to a more monetized gaming experience, Ubisoft's future could remain bleak. For now, all eyes are on Ubisoft, its decisions, and whether it can bounce back from the challenges it faces. Investors and fans alike will be closely watching the next steps, hoping for the best, but prepared for the possibility that Ubisoft's struggles may just continue. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe. See you guys all, and have a wonderful day.